Hello boys and girls, GameCam here, and we are going to play playing Rising Storm or Red Orchestra 2 multiplayer. Um, at the moment it's Red Orchestra 2 multiplayer because we're not in the Pacific. Um, we're in the Eastern um, campaign as the Russians, I suppose, the Russians. Uh, yeah, we'll play as Russians. Russians is fun. Marksman, yes please. They have failed to take our city in time, brothers! Now we will make the break with their food! Look! Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about why World War II is the best setting. I'm going to be questioning this one. Voila! 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 We have so many level zeros, by the way. Voila! Voila! I haven't played this in a while. I played this before. I haven't played it in a while. Bastards. But yeah, um, <laughs> getting back to the video where we just choose the strategy. Um, which is basically the, the reason why I, I, I mean, I like. Modern Warfare, <laughs> obviously with the recently release of uh, Battlefield, release of Battlefield, um, was it, uh, 1, if you get confused, you <laughs> uh, call it like 5, but it's 1, and um, Infinite Warfare, obviously, everyone's been discussing why people don't want more future, they want more past, and um, obviously, that's what I'm trying to say, and the thing is, about World War 2, and, uh, yeah, World War Two is the best. And while Vietnam and uh, Vietnam and the other and World War One are good as well. Um, oh, I killed someone, but I think I could kill myself. It was gone. Um, but yeah, obviously the fact of the matter is that World War Two was based in a time where, obviously. World War One had the introduction of these, you know, guns and things like that. But um, you know, more guns, more artillery pieces, things like that. But by World War Two, that was basically like worked out, and they they were literally throwing together these massive guns to kill each other, and it was just, you know, ridiculous. You got so many different weaponry and guns and things like that. Um, Um, obviously, so it became, sorry about that, it had a, um, what was it, it had massive amounts of weaponry and gear to choose from, which would make obviously the gameplay more interesting, obviously as long as they balance things right. Um, obviously the, the, the main reason also is the fact that as much as we have all this technology and things like that, there, it's all very simple. It's it's more complex than one would want, but it's still very very simplistic. So the fact of the matter is, I don't have a hot. You know, <laughs> as World Warfare 2 had a heartbeat sensor on oh my gun. I don't. It's just me and my rifle and a bunch of Nazis to shoot at. I have a pretty shit scope as well. It's not a bad scope by any means, but um, it's not the best. Obviously, yeah, the fact of the matter is there is no auto locking, there is nothing like that. It's just me and my rifle, and I miss it. That's fair. It's fair. Tank, can you get that MD34, please? It's. We'll see if I do this. I don't like any. I'll go to the car. I'll go to the car. So the fact of the is, obviously there's just me and these guys and my rifle, and they can be coming from all the boxes. Um, but yeah, it's just me and my rifle. Engineers, you need to steal no those blockades. No one. There's no one. I've got... I've got... 
any auto aim or anything like that. Um, another good thing, obviously, the fact of the matter is they have all these vehicles and things, but they don't have any sort of sight. Keep killing them. The tanks that Ridiculous. Metal thing with the tread Reloading. Somewhere in the uh, middle of this. I got tanks, but the tanks are really dealt with, and I just got short. Um, obviously, another reason why I love World War Two over you know, World War Two is the fact that there is the World War Two is when that they obviously in, in the modern era you don't get you do get wa wars out of the open, but you don't get nearly as many wars out of the open as you used to. Obviously, this World War Two is World War One. More World War Two than World War One. Um, World War One was kind of fought mainly in Europe, and it was a lot of just mud trench and you know, move up the mud trench and sort of things. Um, World War Two was the first, where, first and really last one, where the whole world basically just went at it and they just all tried to murder each other. So you have, you can go anywhere in the world really, and you'd still have a war zone. Whereas in obviously World War One. Vietnam and things like that. Most modern ships are stuck to a certain area. Um, so World War One has the most variety, obviously. There isn't total variety. Um, so obviously you can get more variety maps with World War Two ones. You can have basically almost anywhere. Um, the fact of the matter is, so if you're having trouble getting onto the bridge, go under the bridge, World World through the River, and come up on the near side. Thing that um, obviously that. you get. Lots of different stories and things like that. You get lots oh, of different like, like campaigns you can do, and there's lots of uh, lots of very interesting heroes and stories you can do about. Them. Tank, lay down as much fire on the other side as you can. Um, My explosive shells, a lot. So obviously you do get more sort of interesting scenarios sometimes, such as like obviously loads of pilots and things like that. That's another thing I want to talk about. The fact of the is that, um, oh my god, that was a amazing shot. Um, the fact that, obviously, you do get shit that's enemy in planes. Oh, that was, that was, that was textbook, that was. That got me, yeah, most of the guy. Um, and he got the tank as well. I think he's dropped it too far behind the bridge. Uh, um, another reason why I love the World War II setting is the fact that it was just... It, it obviously everyone... Obviously I don't know about you. Um, obviously I had a... You, 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 every, lots of people had relations that fit, fought in these um, wars. And, it involves everyone, you feel like you have to feel build a sort of connection. Um, do you feel like you can sort of put yourself in their shoes in a way? Um, yeah, obviously not, not perfectly and things like that, but you know, it's, it's something. And I think that obviously World War II can also be. Obviously, what I loved about the Bad Company games was that they had massive amounts of cinematic moments. World War II is one of the games where it has one of the most cinematic moments. Um, yeah, in, in terms of games, I think that. So obviously, any of you play World War War don't realise that the World War, World War was the best cut. There's no question. And World Warfare 4 was great. I played it, I liked it, um, but it was just that World of War was just so amazing, it was just... Tank starts out training the woods with fire. Um, Vietnam is obviously very good for cinematic moments as well, anyone who's played the Bad Company 2, um, DLC, I think, also. Yeah, agree that there was a lot of cool similar things. And I think that the what looking at you know obviously the fact of the matter is it is a trailer, obviously, yeah, so I'm not hopping on the hype train immediately. because um, the game could end up looking nothing like that. But um the fact of the matter is that it does look like it could have the potential to make lots of similar 
and I just didn't think that um, yeah, most of the you know, modern you know, futuristic sort of Right, games bridge is clear, get on here. Um, I think that obviously the, the Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront nailed it on the head, but that was Star Wars. That's Star Wars. I didn't think Star Wars didn't. Yeah, no, no. The only thing that the game really had for me was the fact that they made some nice remarks. Um, I think that it missed a lot of the stuff out there that could have done. Um, but that's going to be debatable. Um, but one of the things it definitely did would do well was Cinematic Reports. And I think that this. That is a very important thing in games. Um, I mean, in Call of Duty, the only way it has yeah, cinematic moments is with set games, whereas this is multiplayer and things like that. Makes things a lot more interesting to draw. I mean, like, obviously, this is the best. Come on, guys, move up, get the pencil. This is where we try to cross the bridge. It's so slow because there's fuck all people in it. For those of you who are new to the game, winning it's simple. Get in the cat zone, stay in the cat zone, fight like hell. It's that simple. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do any, right? Yeah. I think there's only three of us on the bridge. Yeah, it is. That's where we almost got it. Almost there. Um. Reloading! The fact of the matter is, there's also. Um, yeah. yeah, we got it. There's also the thing where, obviously. Hey guys, I believe the plan was Swarm E, Swarm E, Echo. Um, that. We tank. could. Do you know what you're doing in tank? Also, do. Obviously, you can do alternate sort of things. Because, obviously. There was, if you anyone who's played Wolfenstein, the tank AFK. alternate does actually work very well as well. So you don't just have to do the other one. I'm not saying that they don't necessarily have to do alternates. It's just yeah, obviously we, the look, we need somebody experienced in the tank. Like, Mate, in the tank, um, can you please sub out with some else? Because it non fiction is good as well. Um, but. That's got the experience. Look, tank, get onto the bridge, start firing HE shells. Oh, um, I mean, I played. You're like the mobile artillery, your job is to supply saturation. And that was. Oh. Like, I, I, I played the first mission, and the guns felt like they fired lasers. Not Who's the commander? Your job is like to be lobbing artillery at the enemy. Really like there is no commander. Bad. Yeah. Alright, I'll take it next time. Really bad lasers. Like, so not even like, doing any damage. Like, they never do any damage. Like, just kill them. Um, but yeah, and also the fact that the game gets a bit auto aim and you know, oh, you can jump around with the power suits and things like that. It was, it's just, it was kind of getting a bit, a bit naff. I prefer the good old days where it's just skill based, where it's just me, my rifle, and the other gun. Whereas if I mess up and get shot, you know, it's my fault. I messed up. I got shot. No one can blame any crap gear. That you get, which is something. Obviously, a lot of games miss a lot of games for all these sort of new weapons and sort of things out where they just, just give you the really basic stuff, basic guns that shoot bullets. Take guns and just shoot more bullets. I think obviously, it is it other interesting guns and things that are oh, good. Yeah, I think that the, the obviously this is this is this is I didn't really before we started as I was saying, but um 
I think that World War II offers something that's very... It's, it's been done before, but it's been, it's been proven to do very, very well. And I've just been shot in the chair. Still got a lot to offer. I don't think World War II will ever stop having things to offer us. Personally, I mean, as long as they just think so, obviously, Red Hawk games like Red Hawk Street 2 are still being played. I really don't want that. Many. And they're still ridiculously good. I mean, if I if I if I still have my 360, then I'd still play World War War as well. Really good. It worked very well. Um, that was the same guy, apparently. Where did he come from? Didn't even see him. This isn't happening. Fair. I think that obviously the World War Two is the best setting for shooters because if the the, the guns are guns, there's no messing around. There's no tomfoolery. It's just guns. There's lots of different guns, and generally under you know, different. Maybe different fire rates, things like that. They're all basically the same. Okay, they fire bullets. Um, I still have to do damage. Um, and I think that that's. Thanks, Dan. Pop your head. That's yeah, going to be it. Yeah. What we need. We don't need any silly guns that shoot lasers as well as target people through walls and things like that. Auto aim and things. We're looking at you, Titanfall. Um, and it's just, I think. It also what offers such you know, a wide area of locations that no other really area can really match up going from see fiction. Um, and I think that it also offers sort of insight into you know history it's, it's also sort of like a history lesson. Especially if you do it, um, was it do it on fiction? Um, and I think that that's a lot very interesting. For people. I think it, it helps educate someone. Who obviously, in this society, in age, education, we need a lot more. Of it. Um, <laughs> and I think that, um, I think that it's, it's 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 definitely got some. Best stories and lots of cinematic uh, moments could be created for it. And I think that obviously eras like the you know, wars like the Vietnam War and World War One were also very good for this, but I think the World War Two was the big daddy of the war. He was the OG. Yes. What would be the OG? The best. No mercy. Um, but I think it's a very good set. I think they should definitely be. Ultimately, I'm still reading on the bad company. That's I can make. I can make. Yes, I obviously one thing I I don't see a considering game. Uh, one of the things I'm obviously considering this game is really good about the obviously I'm not sure. Obviously I can run red orchestra and stuff all right, so I mean there is one behind that top of the wagon. So it's not gonna leave someone here to grenade it. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably leave it this pals. I'll probably catch you in the next one. Sorry, it's a little bit hectic this one. Obviously I think I think I think I agree with boots. Do you guys most of you guys probably agree with boots too? Obviously if you have any ideas why World War II is the best or not the best, then obviously let me know in the comments and I will reply to all of them. Um, so this is Red Orchestra by the way, so if you guys want to see more Red Orchestra as well, 